Hi guys, I'm back with another haul. Um, this is from Lovely. Lovely's Bath and Wax. I have ordered from her, I think, uh, just once before I got a mystery box and it was amazing. Um, I just really loved the mystery box. I think the one that I had gotten was $40 and it came with quite a bit of wax. So if you have a chance to check out her mystery box, I would do that. Really cute card. I think this is different than the one I had before and it has her little picture and her information on there. So let's just get right into it here. Um, there is going to be some crinkling because I have the box right here. Um, okay, so I did get two scoopables and it came with a bunch of different um, little spoons. Let me open it up here. These are like just so cute. Just little babies. And I like that she gives you a couple, like, in case one breaks or, you know, you never know what's going to happen. So, this is the sample. It says, full pink moon. Uh, I can't read it. Pink sugar, vanilla bean noel, and sweet lavender. And it's like a brittle. A couple different colors. Ooh, look at the one on the back. So pretty. So, and this one is a pretty big chunk. Holy moly. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is very cute. So let's open it and smell it. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I don't know what um, type of lavender oil she uses, but it's, it's definitely unique. Um, a lot of lavenders that I've smelled lately are like pretty powdery. And this isn't like that. It's just a nice, sweet lavender. And I really like that. So I'm grateful for that sample. Um, it looks like there's a couple more samples here. And then this one is Gold Diggin'. It doesn't have the scent notes. So I'm going to try and figure that out. Hmm. It smells bakery. Um... It smells kind of like pumpkin pecan waffles. I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to look that up and add it in the video here. Not sure what gold digging is, but it smells definitely like bakery and like mapley and a little bit nutty. So the next one is Waffly Cute and it's a two-tone little pumpkin, purple and black. If I can get them out. Okay, this must be the pumpkin pecan waffles because this smells just like that. So I'm not sure what the other one is, but you can see there's a little ghost glitter on there. It's so cute. Oh, her pumpkin pecan waffles smells very, very good. It smells like almost like there's like pink sugar in it. Like there's another sweet note. That I'm going to have to look up the scent notes for that too. Because I'm just kind of curious what it is now. And the last sample is Treesome. And I think I actually got this as well. Um, this is a little skull crossbone. And a tombstone. If I can get it out. Ugh. Oh this smells so good. It's like a fruity cashmere cedar. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad that I bought this. It's really, really good. I love cashmere cedar. It's one of my favorite things. I'm going to have to um, do a collection video soon. And you guys will see that I have a lot of cashmere cedar. This definitely is cashmere cedar plus apple. I remember seeing that in the scent notes. So when I get to the bag that I bought of this scent, I'll have the scent notes here in a few minutes. So, let's go into my two scoopables. They are both the same scent. It's Doomy. This is one of my favorites. It is Honeydew Pear, Salty Sea Air, and Candy. It's yellow and green. This one has like a shell, like just a hard piece of wax on the top. So you can take that out and melt it separately or whatever you like to do. But this is so, so good. So beachy. Her pear is like really sweet. 
but that salty sea air and candy in there oh this is so good i actually used my first container of this within one month so i used it very frequently i could not stop using it and it has quite a bit of glitter mica stuff in the bottom if you have a chance to try this scent again it's called do me definitely try it if you like salty sea air and melon okay and this is the tree sum one that i was just talking about in the sample cashmere cedar green apple and strawberry and just look at this souffle oh my goodness it is so cute let's take it out and her bags are really nice and thick i know she said she switched to thicker bags oh my goodness it smells so good you guys the apple is not too strong i have a thing about the apple scents as i've said i can't have anything that's too apple-y or too apple cinnamony. i will probably end up taking the little shapes on the top off and using them separately but this is so cute and it smells so good i wonder what kind of apple i think it did say that it was green apple uh oh i just lost my skull you guys it fell off but that's okay because i want to take them off anyways and Underneath that skull is green wax, so I wonder if it's green all the way down through. Um, when I chop this, I'll be sure to do a video. I've been trying to do more chopping videos. I'm actually scheduling myself to chop today, later on. The next one is Kaleidoscope. I think this one was like a berry scent. Um... I don't know why this one doesn't have scent notes on it, but I remember it being like a berry. Ooh, it does smell very candy. Definitely a lot of berry in that. I'll have to look up the scent notes on this. Usually everything I've gotten has had scent notes, so I'm not sure why this one didn't. But it's multicolored. Very, very cute. I love how the hair on the unicorn is purple. It smells a little different than I was expecting it to, but it's still good. It's just more berry than I was expecting it to be. But I, th I think the main scent note was berry, so I guess I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> Sometimes it's so hard when you're ordering stuff to really figure out what you want. Um, this one is Coconuts for You, Iced Coconut, Snuggle, Vanilla Lace, and Pink Chiffon. And I just love her labels too. I mean, how cute is this? This is like um, a muffin shape. Ooh, that snuggle is strong. I haven't actually had anything with snuggle before, but I wanted to try it. I can pick up the coconut a little bit, but... And maybe the pink chiffon, I'm not really sure yet because all I can smell really right now is that snuggle. It's definitely strong. But it's not, like, too overpowering. It's hard to explain. Um, if you've smelled Snuggle before, then you know what I'm talking about. Laundry scents can kind of um, just be very prominent in blends. The next one is Seaweed Cake. It is Salty Sea Air, Angel Food Cake, Strawberry, and Sugar Cookie. And the cutest label in the world let me just take these out for you guys. There's a mermaid tail and a heart in here. A green heart. Ooh, this smells really good. Yeah, her salty sea air is very, very good. That's the little mermaid tail. A couple of colors in there. You can get a good couple of melts out of this. And there's the heart. Just a normal green heart. I smell the salty sea air and the angel food cake in this. I'm not really sure. I can smell the strawberry slightly, but it's not like, that's not the main scent note here. And I've been really, really digging salty sea air lately, so I'm glad that this is the first scent note. I'm really impressed with this one. And the next one is Famous Cereal Killers. It's Fruit Loops, Fruity Pebbles, Avo Bath, and Strawberry Cake. 
And you know what? I've been wanting to see a cereal blend with Avo Bath because for some reason, to me, Avo Bath smells like it belongs in one of these Fruit Loops sort of cereal blends. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is amazing. Why did I only get one of these? So good. Okay, so the Avo Bath is definitely what I'm smelling first. And the Fruity Pebbles and Fruit Loops next. I'm not really smelling strawberry cake. But this is just so good. And look at that green. Oh, and her purple is like one of my favorite purples in wax. I need to actually go on her site and see if there's more of this. Because this smells so, so good. I've been really liking to use Avo Bath lately. It's just so fresh, clean, and uplifting. It's just such a good scent. And then, sorry, I'm making kind of a mess over here. And then I got Island Shake. It's vanilla milkshake, stra uh, pineapple sherbet, mango sorbet, and coconut cream. Sorry, I was looking at the picture and it looked like there was a strawberry on there. So I was just looking at that. i got to carefully take this out because I really don't want to ruin it. It has a little straw. So cute. This is definitely like that Dole, Dole Whip sort of scent. It smells really good. Her pineapple is good. So what I do with these is I just will slice them and just do, you know, medium sized slices. And that's how I put it back in the bag afterwards. Just put all the slices back in the bag and just melt as I go. I can't resist cutting these up for some reason it's just so satisfying so when I saw that she had these little milkshakes I had to get one and the next one is dragon cake it says ooh, amber vanilla cake dragon and oh dragon's blood and pecan sorry I can't see that one because it's just so dark on the label there's a cute dinosaur. I wasn't sure what dragon's blood was, but this actually smells very good. I had to go a little bit out of my comfort zone with some of the stuff, but I've been doing that quite a bit lately. Trying to get stuff that's usually out of my comfort zone because I've ended up really liking most of the stuff that I've tried from different vendors lately. This definitely smells, you know, sort of like... A head shop like when you walk in there to you know when you walk in you smell all like the incense and stuff this definitely smells good it's it's different but I like it that must be the dragon's blood that's smelling like that incense smell it's not overwhelming it's actually very nice so I'll have to let you know how that goes on warm And then, I was really excited for this one. It is What's Poppin', Palo Santo, Kettle Corn, Sugar Cookie, and Vanilla. I love Palo Santo. I've been trying to get Palo Santo everything lately. Trying it in all kinds of different blends. Hmm, I was nervous about this one a little bit because of the Kettle Corn. I wasn't sure how that was going to go, but it's actually nice. You do get that kind of buttery popcorn sort of smell, but it's not like salty popcorn. The Palo Santo isn't as strong as I was hoping it would be. But again, I'm just like, I'm just smelling the top of it. It could be stronger once it's cured and once I melt it. It definitely smells like that that kettle corn and I can smell the sugar cookie and vanilla too. It's it's really nice. And then another one that was a little out of my comfort zone. Look at this shape bag. These shapes are absolutely huge. I mean, you can see how big this bag is. It is Honey Trap, Burt's Bee, Baby Bee and barbershop 1920s 
And these colors are just absolutely gorgeous. The colors alone drew me in when I saw the photo of it. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. It does smell like the Burt's Bee, baby. Let me take out this butterfly because that's really what I want to show you guys. It's a little like almondy, but I think that um, the baby bee scent must have almond in it. So it's almost a little like amaretto, like cherry-ish. And I really don't do cherry, but with in, in this blend, I think it's tolerable. It smells so good, you guys. And look at this like little geometric heart. I've had this shape from her before, and I actually really like to melt it. It was really nice. Really pretty. Sorry, I'm arranging all the shapes back in the bag. Okay, and then we have espresso shake. Vanilla milkshake, sweet cream, caramel macchiato, and espresso. And this one is super cute. Oh, it smells so good. It does smell like a caramel macchiato. Look at the little coffee bean. You got that like caramely whip on the top. It's so cute. It's so crazy how this smells like legit like a caramel macchiato. It smells like I just opened like one of those little Starbucks, uh, the drinks they sell at the store, the little glass jars. It smells just like that. It smells so good. I'm so excited to melt this. <clears throat> All right, and we're almost done. Oh, wait, maybe we're not. Okay, and the next one is Lucid Dream. Sweet lavender, marshmallow, and vanilla sugar. And this is so cute. I love this. Her sweet lavender is very, very good. Like I said, a lot of lavenders that I've smelled lately have been like powdery. And this is not that. It's like more of that like sweet candied lavender, if that makes sense. And this shape on top is just so adorable. I just want to cut into them though. <laughs> I wonder what color it will be underneath. This is just such a sweet, relaxing scent. I cannot wait to melt this. It almost has like... It almost smells a little bit like Boardwalk to me. Like Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds mixed in with that sweet lavender. Maybe it's the marshmallow and vanilla sugar combined with that sweet lavender making it smell like that. But I'm just loving this one. I'm so glad that I got the little souffle of it. And the next one is Make It Happen Captain. Captain Crunch, Buttercream, Twinkies, and Marshmallow. Oops, I'm breaking things here. So this was right on here, but I just broke it. <laughs> See, the little shell is coming off. You can definitely smell the Captain Crunch berries like right up front with this. I'm not really smelling the Twinkies and other stuff, but maybe that's just because I'm just smelling this little shape. Okay, I can smell it now. I definitely do smell the Twinkies in this. I don't smell the other stuff. I just smell like the Twinkies and the Captain Crunch, but this smells really good. Her uh, Captain Crunch Berry oil reminds me of one that I've had from another vendor. So if you like the... Uh, the Captain Crunchberry oil from Bodies Harmony, you'll definitely like Lovelies. 
I actually really, really like a lot of her, uh, a lot of her oils. Okay, so shake well. So, and this is the last thing in the box. This is uh, Detangler Loopy Lolly. Mm, it doesn't have the scent notes on it. I think it was like lollipops and Fruit Loops or something. Let me smell it. Yeah, it's definitely lollipops and Fruit Loops. Wait, let me smell it again. Yeah, it's got to be. This smells good. I was kind of unsure about this scent because of the lollipop. I wasn't sure what that would smell like. But I'm actually really glad that I got this and I'm excited to try out her detangler. Thing, as you can see, the box is empty. This is everything I got. It's just kind of all piled in there. So I do apologize about that. It was kind of hard to reach because I just had it set over here. But I am really impressed with this order and I just love her brand. It's just so colorful and bright. If you haven't had a chance to check her out yet, um, I will leave a link to her site in the description box. Thank you for watching.